Hello YouTube, I am back with a new video and So then, race number one, where do I start? Apart from, it was terrible. I decided before the race I was gonna try my seat slightly further back, which you can see me doing in the intro, to try and get my weight further towards the back of the car to see if it would help counter the oversteer that I always seem to get coming out of the final corner downstairs. But almost immediately, I could tell something wasn't right. The car was bouncing everywhere, going through corners, exiting corners, mainly on the right-handers, where you're fully on the power, with quite a lot of steering angle in So I kept thinking to myself, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get this car changed, but then, because I'd moved my seat, I kept second-guessing myself, thinking I was just being a bit crap with having my seat in the new position, so I stuck at it. Fast forward up to the end of the session, and my front left tyre was completely flat. Maybe I should listen to my gut feeling more and not second guess myself and get the car changed. And that was about it really for the first one. A bit of traffic and me going really slowly trying to race an injured car. So at this point I was absolutely praying to the karting gods that the second race would be a bit better. And there you can see just how flat that tyre was. Right, let's find out if the gods have heard my prayers from the first race. So I'll put my seat back into its normal position, so that then I could tell if I post a bad time that it's down to me being crap and not something I've changed or something wrong with the car. And here I am checking the tyres because, you know, paranoid. Okay, so out to the track we go, and things can take long at all to get heated up with one of the biggest crashes into a barrier I've ever seen at a team sport. I don't know what was going on inside that helmet, but all I can guess is not a lot, and it definitely wasn't thinking about turning or braking. She went that hard into the tyres that she came completely wedged under the barrier, and she's not the only one this happens to tonight. Now, learning to race is more than just about the on-track skills you need to get the job done. You also need to learn the fine art of racing driver excuses. And here's mine. This kart really struggled with understeer. I know at the start of the video I said I smashed my PB, but on some corners you can actually hear the front end giving up completely. And these next few laps or so is when I realised that the gods were actually on my side. I came up behind about three or four people. I didn't really have much to do to get by them as they just drove themselves straight to the nearest barrier. Fine by me. I don't know if they could feel my absolute immense presence behind them or they just forgot to turn and brake. I'm going to go with the latter.
and here is our second victim of those barriers absolutely pile driving her car under those tyres thinking that maybe she could get through to the other side And that was that, so now I'm going to play my fastest lap and compare it to my previous fastest lap around this track and pause it in a few places to show you either a different line that I've taken or just to show the time that I've gained. There you have it then, another fun field action pack race down at Team Sport and it's also one of very few races where I've not been taken out so it's always a bonus I guess and I've got the next race booked for just over a week away so I'll see you there.